Hello, my name is Muhammad Nusad Ali Bin Muhammad Rasli and my metric number is 070628 For this project, I choose Mpura Fish uh, In Sarawak, Mpura Fish is the king of Sarawak River fish because of the largest size and delicious taste. The body is thin and compact To offer camouflage, its original environment and scar are in scala and largest and also largest Color about the side length and the and a lighting silver color at the bottom. It is species of expensive uh, fresh water that is a uh, familiar of all uh, of the world. It was uh, it was say that uh, it was say that tycoon million from Hong Kong come to Kuching with the private jet. To enjoy a dessert of empura fish that cost a uh, thousand of ringgit. Empura fish as a, uh, is a exotic fish uh, uh, that are hard to find in the nature. Uh, will and the slow breeding rate and ground meat is expensive in the higher river basic area. Empura prefer fast. Clear, uh, fast, clear river, uh, rocket bottom and deep pool. The special is uh, relate to sama fish. It is feeling, uh, is a feeling, uh, is a feeling, uh, medium lock that extend below the lower lip. In Sarawak, ikan empurau uh, can be found in the major upper uh, receive of the river, mainly uh, Ulu Balang. Uh, baram Adang dan Libang. The price of the fish is uh, with, uh, according with the reputation with, with the reputation and demand of this thing uh, can be reached more than 1000 ringgit per kilo. Thank you. Hello and assalamualaikum to everyone uh, and Good day to Mr. Tang. Uh, my name is Abu Hamia Kimizi and my part is going to be presenting about uh, Ikan Pari or Stingray in English which is scientific name is Batoids. So Batoids are flat bodied uh, and like shark, cartilaginous fish meaning they have a boneless skeleton made of a tough elastic cartilage. Most Batoids have five ventral slot like body openings called gills, slits that lead from the gills. But how? Uh, but the hexatrigenite have side both of the side of the head. Most buttocks have a flat, dislike body, with the exception of twitter fishes and saw fishes. While most sharks have spindle-shaped body, many species of buttocks have developed their pectoral fins into broad flat wing like appendages. The anal fin is which make the anal fin is absent. The eyes and spiracles are located on top of the heads. Most buttocks have a ventrally located mouth and can considerably, considerably protrude their upper jaw away from the cr cranium or capture their prey. The jaws have utolistic type suspension which relies completely to on the cartilage for support. So the ma ma catching method for stingray is that uh, you you have to go somewhere the where the water is shallow and not too much uh, kind of uh, rocky kind of surface so all you need to do is just throw the uh, jala and wait until the stingray caught uh, into the jala so the price for stingray usually uh, high up to 21 ringgit and 69 cents per kilogram depending on the sizes and weight. So that is all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hello to Dr. Tang Sing Chung and my friends. My name is Umi Zuleika Binti Zuli Skandar with metric number 71855. This part I would like to share about Ikan Bawal Hitam or the specific name is Parastromeches niger or the common name is Black Pomfret. The features of Ikan Bawal Hitam or Black Pomfret is 
it has a rhomboidal body shape and the color of the black pomfret is dark brown or color has its name. So we can see Ikan Bawal Hitam is located at Java Sea, South Sulawesi, Malacca Strait and Kalimantan. This black pomfret can be found at the deeps of up to 105 meters at the sea. So the price of this fish is 35 ringgit and 99 sen per kilogram. It depends on the size or the weight of ikan bawal hitam. Okay, next is the technique or fishing technique to catch black pomfret or ikan bawal hitam is using a net or fishing rod, rawai and panau. Pana is the traditional style that fishermen use to catch ikawa hitam or black bone fret. Just as we can see this technique at Muka Sarawak, follow the black bone fret seasons. Then, the nutrition of black bone fret is it has vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin B12, calcium, phosphorus, and iron. And doctor also recommend for the pregnant mom to eat this fish because of it from a great source of nutrition. Lastly is the preparation for the black prawn fret can be any recipe such as curry ikan bawal hitam. For the preparation and cook it's around 15 to 20 minutes and make sure the black prawn fret are well cooked and does not smelly fishy after it is cooked. Thank you. For my choice is uh, it's a snail called Siput Sidut in Bahasa Malay or in the Malaysian language and the English and scientific name is uh, Ceratidia optosa. Uh, it comes, the family is uh, Potamidia, uh, Kingdom Animalia. It, it, it can be found in the wettest places um, at the lowest ebb. Uh, usually it's um, common in Asia, uh, Vietnam. South Thailand and Shore Malaysia. Usually it can be found in uh, uh, like um, near the sea and the wet places. So we can say that one of the famous uh, cities that they uh, cook it or eat it is Johor and Malacca. Uh, in Sarawak can be found near the Mai place. The price in Malaysia between 18 to 28 per kilogram uh, depends on the quality and freshness. For nutrition, Sputsidut contains four unsaturated fatty acids, polyunsaturated fatty acid, gamma linolenic acid. Unsaturated fatty acids are considered important for good health and for a healthy heart and blood pressure. For the preparation, uh, we have to uh, use a knife to remove the membrane uh, because uh, the things that can be eaten from this snail is the liquid inside. So we have to remove the membrane to uh, take out the liquid to eat it. Uh, after removing the membrane, we have to put it in a water pot and discard any one, uh, any snail floating, then re uh, repeating the process few times to make sure the one that we have is good to eat. Then it's ready. For the catching techniques, uh, as we see in the photo, uh, the lady is collecting the snails. Uh, this photo from Malacca. Uh, they collect it from the wettest places, the lowest ebb, uh, also on the roots, branches, above the substrates. Uh, they collect by hands and then they uh, wash it and sell it. Hi, I'm Apiza. We have chosen Ikan Selayang as one of the safe and sustainable seafood choice for daily life. Ikan selayang, or its scientific name, Dicapturus maratsi, is usually a type of fish that inhabit the water surface in the sea, including around Malaysia. 
For the people of Saba, this fish is known as basong, a part of being sardine. In the meantime, small fish and plankton are the primary source of sustenance for the ikan selayang. The preparation for this fish can be any recipe such as we can fry um, and then we can make asam pedas. We also can cook with soy sauce and make it into sambal just like on the picture. The wholesale price is around 3 to 5 ringgit per kilogram, but the price of this fish can change where it depends a lot during the season. If it's in the monsoon season, the cost can reach to uh, 10 ringgit per kilogram. The method of catching ikan selayang by local fisher is using trawls, fishing nets, tug, and fishing boats. This method was used because uh, selayang fish can relatively small and move in a group. I will be presenting about ikan keli or its scientific name is Clarias. Ikan keli is one of the common freshwater fish that can be found in Malaysia. The physical feature of, the, of this catfish is they have pairs of bubbles on their head and their body have a small surface without any scales on it and it is kind of slimy. This fish is quite popular in Malaysia because many people like to eat this fish. It's because the meat from this fish has kind of sweet taste and delicious. Since this fish is popular, there is a great demand from the buyers. From this situation, the local fishermen create a catfish farm in order to meet the demands from the buyers. The location of catfish farm in Sarawak can be found at Bau and Kuching, Sarawak. The catfish as food contains many benefits for human's body. For example, first, fatty acid omega-3 is good for the health of heart. Secondly, vitamin B12. This vitamin uh, is good for the flow of red blood cells in human's body. Last but not least is the high protein. This high protein is good for the growth of human's body. Uh, very good day to our lecturer. Hi, my name is Nekusun Lecture number 70270. Today I will talk about Oreochromis melaticus or locally known as Telicamia. Telicamia fish is originally came from the North of Africa. Before then it was introduced to Indonesia before it was officially migrated to Malaysia since 1940. Telicamia is a result of a mixed breed between the Telicamia hitam and Telicamia viru. According to local, Telepia merah telet is more tastier than Telepia hitam and other Telepia fish and no wonder it is the local favorite Telepia fish. Telepia merah can easily be found in any fresh water sauce like legs and prawn. To catch a Telepia merah, it doesn't require any special fishing technique. The normally people in local use fishing rod, fishing rod and throw technique to catch the litiamera. For the throw technique, it is usually used by a fisherman who catch the who catch the litiamera for economically. The litiamera also can be bred and usually be bred in a earthen ponds or concrete pond. For the concrete pond, it requires a air water pump and air pump set up to supply the fish with a continuously oxygen. Telepia merah is also rich with niacin, vitamin B12, phosphorus, selenium, potassium, and even protein. There's a lot of way to, to cook or prepare telepia mera, but for the local people, they usually cook telepia mera with, uh, also, uh, with Thai cuisine, or also known as telepia mera masak pedas Thai. Telepia mera is being prepared like other fish before it was coated 
cut it with turmeric and salt. Then the fish was fry for 10 to 15 minutes. After the fish was fully cooked, then mix it with the Thai cuisine sauce that was being prepared. Uh, Tiltamera is the price of Tiltamera. The local price of Tiltamera is around I am adding it to adding it per kilo, according to the place and the supply of Tiltamera fish. That's all for me. Thank you.